got to drive it. What you got here? Found the sign. It says north. Right here, over here in the bushes by the squirrel condominiums. Okay. Don't ask me what they did, why they dragged it out here into the middle of nowhere. Okay. I mean, it's a crime to try to recycle any of the state signs or the highway signs or the road signs. You understand? I mean, as you, obviously as you can see, the fucking pole is 10 feet high. You understand know what, what they're gonna do with it? Chop it up, use it for firewood? Well, they stole it and then they realized they didn't have a wrench to take the sign off. Yeah. So they just left it here, out here in the middle of the, of the park right here. North is actually that way, the other side of the freeway. The airport's right there, that's east, that's west. Right? So, uh, as you can see in the distance, there's a solar panel holding up something. Which way are we going? Uh, we're going that way. No, we actually we can't go that way because the road's right there. Uh, we're not going anywhere right now. We're going that way, we're going underneath. We're going underneath the bridge over there. Right? Uh, yesterday, we helped a young man put up a tent over there in the bushes somewhere. Right? Uh, it was a brand new $40 tent special from from Target, he said. Right? We helped him put it up in this little thing. And, and this is the amazing thing to me. Here, there's all kind of warnings. There's all kind of people telling you. There's everybody and their brother, even cancer survivor victim, said that the people would steal the steal the skin right off your body. But yeah, we helped this young man put his tent up yesterday over there in the little forest, right? And he zipped his clothes and walked away. And uh, this morning we came by to check on it because he told us to come back by. He, you know, he'd hook us up. He'd you know pay us a little bit for helping him set up his tent, or at least my friend for helping him set up his tent. Right? And then there was no one around, tent still there. Didn't have any cigarette burns on it, it wasn't full of used rubbers, there weren't dope paraphernalia parts there wasn't even all any over the footprints. place. There's not even any footprints around it other than our footprints. Nobody sliced it open just to fuck with him? Nothing, nothing. And then so it's like, okay, well maybe, you know, cause you tell the shade, come back by. You know, you guys are welcome anytime, he said. Thanks for helping me, cool. So, we went on about our business. We went down, we you know, uploaded a couple videos, we, you know, we snarked a couple of dumpsters, we got some Chinese food again for breakfast. We had some, you know, some cream cheese and some, and some croissants, right? And it's just like three or four hours later, we are coming back through, we'd go make a couple more videos. We went by, stopped and said, hey, let me go and see if dude's there. We walked in there, looked around. It's the same condition as I left it before. Still zipped up, nobody's around, there's no footprints, there's no cigarette burns, there's no, there's no drunken winos laying on the ground inside. There's nobody with, with an air conditioner hooked up to the side of it. Nobody, nobody came by and took one of the poles. And, Damn, that's the one I need for my tent. Nothing, nothing. But, but yet, but yet everybody that we've talked to along the way to come here has told us that we need to be extremely diligent, that we need to be extremely careful because the bums will steal everything that we have. First off, there's not that many of them. That's not the They're point. all condensed, but there's not that many there's of them. There's not that many of them. And when you're in a town that doesn't have that many of them, they can't get away with the shit they can get away with in Phoenix when there's millions of them. Well, yeah. Or, or in San Francisco, or in LA, or in Torrance, or in Compton, or wherever. You see, but my point is this, is that this young man, I mean, I don't know what his situation was. I don't know if he got kicked out, if he left on his own. Well, or he, he said he just didn't like being around them fucking people. Yeah, so like, he yeah went, where he was living out on the other side. So he went to Target, bought himself some, you know, a tent, some money, Social Security, whatever it is that he gets. You know what I'm saying? He came over here, but yet he's not here, right? But but he's brave enough and he's confident enough over here in this park to leave his stuff there. So I guess maybe the the cancer survivor victim is wrong. I guess maybe the people of California are different. Cancer survivor said that was Santa Barbara. Cancer survivor said a lot of things, right? That, uh, that you chose not to believe, that I chose to laugh at. <laughs> Right, but yet, but yet, when you followed us all the way up to Starbucks to get a nitro, that, that was a different, whole different thing. Hey, the only thing that came out of his mouth that was correct was which direction to head. Yeah, that was it. And then he followed us to make sure. Well, anyway, this is me, Brian, and my anonymous friend, going north. Thank you.